you guys, it's Rachel, and today I'm doing a mason jar DIY Pinterest inspired. And these took a very long time for some reason. I either didn't have the right supplies or I was running back and forth, and it took a couple days to make. So I hope you guys liked it, and if you do, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you guys had a good New Year's. Tell me your New Year's revolutions down below in the comments. My New Year's revolution is to wash my face every day. So yeah, I'll see what you guys have. Well, let's get started. For this, you will need soap with a spout, obviously a mason jar, a hammer, and some nails. So the first thing I did was put my spout through a piece of paper to make a stencil so I knew how big to make the hole on the mason jar cap to put the spout through. Then I nailed in holes to start making the hole bigger. From here, I used whatever I could, a pencil, a nail, a hammer, to make the hole bigger so I could put the spout through. If necessary, you can cut the straw of your spout to fit. Then just steal the soap from the other container and put it in your new one. Now all you gotta do is screw on your rim, put your spout in, and you're good to go. For the mason jar terrarium, you'll need some green plants, a mason jar, and some cool rocks. So then I just start adding my plants to the bottom, trying to make it as flat as I can. And by the way, try and make sure that you can tell that there are different layers or that the plants are different colors because I guess that's just how terrariums are supposed to be. So then I add my super cool rocks. And by the way, you can find all of this stuff at Michael's, but I got mine at this place called Whole Market, but Michael's would work just fine as well. And I continue to add my plants until I'm done. Super easy. For the last DIY, you'll need three mason jars, some wood, and I changed this to a long block of wood, which you might want to use instead, some sandpaper if necessary, a glue gun, and some paint. So I started off by putting some paint on my paintbrush and just starting to paint the rims of the mason jar caps. And I chose pink, blue, and green, and you can definitely choose whatever colors you want. It could be the same, all different, whatever. So then I set them out to dry and started to screw them on back on back onto the jars. And if you know me, you know that I have zero patience. So of course I didn't wait for them to dry and some of the paint came off, but that's okay. I kind of like the way it looks where it had some of the paint missing. I don't know. So I decided how I wanted my mason jars to sit on the board and I decided I wanted them at a slant so it was easy to take things in and out from them. And I drew a line under it so I know where to put my nail. I put one on the side and one on the line so it could sit nicely. Then I saw other YouTubers using E6000 glue to get things to stick instead of a hot glue gun. So I tried it out and do not use it or this will happen. So I went back with the hot glue gun and it worked just fine. That's all for today guys, I'll see you next week and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and see you later, bye.